because this is going to be the start of a new series here on my channel. So basically, Sebastian and I have been born and raised here in Berlin, in Germany, and we absolutely love it here. So we thought to give you kind of like a local guide to Berlin um, and show you all of our favorite places. So if you want to visit Berlin, of course you want to hit all the typical sites, you know, like the Brandenburg Gate, um, for example. But I would definitely recommend you to stay a bit longer to experience the locals' way of life. And this is exactly what we're going to do in this video. Since Berlin is such a big city, it can be quite overwhelming for a first-time visitor. So I thought to section the series off into the different districts of Berlin. And today we're going to start with Prenzlauer Berg, which is a very artsy and hip neighborhood. And of course, if you've ever been to Berlin, I'd love to know your favorite places. So leave a comment down below so that we can all explore the city together. Okay, so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And then without further ado, let's get started. So, whenever you're traveling to Berlin, you must definitely want to check out Prenzlauer Berg, or as us locals shorten it, Prenzlberg. Located north of the city center, it's a very cool neighborhood with lots of different bars and restaurants. While most stores around the city close their doors on Sundays, Prenzlauer Berg seems to do the exact opposite. Especially on a sunny day, a lot of Berliners will put on their walking shoes and enjoy this beautiful neighborhood. Here, you'll find a lot of street art, street markets, and even karaoke in the park. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite places while you're up here. But how do I get there, you may ask? Well, you can either take the S train to Schönhauser Allee or the underground train to Eberswalder Straße. Skip breakfast at your hotel and head right to Café Spregold, where you may enjoy a delicious breakfast or lunch, along with some pretty fancy coffees and juices. During the summer, you may even sit outside and watch the busy Berliners go their way. All in all, a perfect start to the perfect day. I'm always for a good photo opportunity, so whenever I'm in Prenzlberg, I need to get to our next stop. Berlin is full of little photo booths such as this one, where you'll get a stripe of four pictures for only two euros. As it's black and white, it brings you back in time and is such a fun idea to capture the moment and to always remember your visit to Berlin. Sebastian and I literally took so many already that I'm planning on getting a huge frame to fit them all. On a Sunday, you most definitely want to check out Mauer Park. Here, you'll find many hipsters in their natural habitat, as well as a big flea market and many artists that show what they've got. And if you're in the mood, you can show off your talent as well by taking part in the bear pit and sing karaoke in front of hundreds of people. I was super stunned at how talented some of the participants were and wouldn't be surprised if they'd be discovered soon. But if you're like me and rather sing in the shower, you are more than welcome to sit on the bleachers and give it your best cheering.
Now I know there are so many beer lovers out there. If you're one of them, this is for you. At the Prater, you'll get a variety of beers and soft drinks that go very well along some nice schnitzel or a big pretzel. Either way, you'll enjoy the quiet backyard surrounded with greenery that is the beer garden, especially on a sunny day. Now, if you're getting hungry by the end of the day, I wanted to show you Konopkes, one of the oldest takeaway for a typical Berliner currywurst. Unfortunately, it's closed on Sundays, so if you want to enjoy that, you'll have to come here another day. So we went for a quick bite to a pizza place close by. Best part? It's really affordable and delicious. Now, if you're from the US, this is nothing new for you, but here in Europe, cookie dough is just starting to become popular. This cookie dough bar just opened a few months ago, so I naturally had to give it a try. They absolutely went out on their interior design, but the cookie dough itself was pretty expensive and nothing you couldn't just whip up in your own kitchen. So I was a bit disappointed about that. Otherwise, it tasted great. So that's why we went to our favorite ice cream place in the area. Hokey Pokies. It's much more than your corner shop with ice cream. One may even go as far as saying it's better than Ben & Jerry's. It's an ice cream patisserie that made headlines a couple of years ago, when waiting lines would go around the corner. They've solved that problem now. A quick tip, while their scoops are a bit more expensive, chocolate and rainbow sprinkles are for free. But they also have a variety of fruits and marshmallows, etc. as an option for your topping. Alright, and that's it for the video. I really hope that you found this first part of my Berlin series interesting and that it'll help you plan your next visit to Berlin. As always, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on any new content. And if you want to take part in the poll, um, to let me know what part of Berlin you want me to check out next. Is it gonna be Kreuzberg or Friedrichshain or Mitte? You decide. Just in case you've missed any of the information, I have all the places we went to in the description down below, along with all Sebastian and my social media links, so don't forget to check that out as well. So I hope to see you again very soon in my next video. Bye!